Thank you. Thank you, madam. Uh, today, uh, good evening to every uh, one participant. Uh, thanks to the special commissioners for uh, giving this opportunity. Uh, today, we talk about soil erosion control measures. So, uh, this topic, everybody uh, know a little bit knowledge about how to control the soil erosion and what are the uh, measurements, what are the measures or what are the remedies, how to control the soil erosion, especially the hill area, the farmers who cultivating in the hill area, in the farming crop or a vegetable crop or any other particular crop, they are facing uh, these type of issues for soil erosion. So they select that particular locality of the hill areas, what are the spaces is controlling for soil erosion. They are selecting like that, that like a potato, like that. So now today uh, we discuss about that, how to control the soil erosion. Soil erosion, when it comes, that is first, one, we discuss about one by one. First, soil erosion control measure. Now, how to control the soil erosion? Arrange for four uh, issues where, that is first question. Then we discuss about that one by one, where, Second is when it is occurred for the soil erosion. Third thing, how to control the soil erosion. Fourth one, what is the remedy? These are the four questions we get answered. Then our uh, objective is fulfilled. What is the, our objective? Soil control, soil erosion control issues. Uh, what are the techniques, what are the technologies now available for the soil erosion control? Soil is a natural medium. We cannot modification, but we, we modify for the artificially, but naturally we cannot possible. So we go for the same, uh, we go for the same natural ways. What are the natural way present for the control of the soil erosions? So soil erosion control mechanically, physically, and mechanically and physically both is possible. And another thing is naturally is possible. How is possible? The I discuss about three ways. One is mechanically, another one is Physically, another one is naturally. Physically, so when it is soil erosion is controlled in small areas, we will uh, control for applying the, the conservation of the size again. That is small area is possible, that is physically. Mechanically, we are using other technology. Um, what are the technologies available? So we control for the using for the that um, uh, fencing. Uh, stone like that, that prevent process. But what is the naturally? The natural naturally means we are using control of the soil erosion by grass, by tree. Both we are using some mulching technique. So soil and water conservation. This is called soil and water conservation. This technology. So soil and water. These are the combinator means when it is overflow, it controls the soil erosions. So here, two, com two uh, components, one is soil, another one is water. So soil, water, conservation, measure soil and water, how to conserve the 
our soil and water for the rain. When is rain will be coming? So heavy rain is coming from the slope area. So it automatically comes to the erosion, erosion or erode of the soils. If I say the example in Tamil Nadu, is here Udakamandalam district, that is the Nilagiri. The Nilagiri is up to uh, the starting from Metupalayam to Udakamuti uh, fully hill areas. So it is also a slope area. So this is one type of uh, slope. Another thing is our farming area is an undulated terrain. Some is a slow, some is flat, some is a slope area. Some is a below, some is a slope area. That is called undulated terrain. So, and grassland. Suppose if grassland is fully that uh, we came to uh, like the uh, multiple length of it is the, uh, small to uh, top. That means below to top, like the slope area. So, uh, different type of slopes are there. Then in uh, Karnataka, the Kodaku, that is different uh, thing. So we go for Rajasthan's, there Rajasthan also soil erosion. So that is wind. So soil, that's why I'm putting that here. Where, when, suppose when this question is that only rainwater or uh, when is rain coming, that time is soil erosion or other uh, thing that is also natural that is air where it is that it is in Rajasthan. so we uh, discuss about three the four points first two points where suppose in our farming land in nearby our area or nearby any forest areas are nearby any slope, so it is coming slope area. So the in like OT, like Kodagu Hills, like Rajasthan. So these are the things is where. So where we are getting answer from that is different types. What are the different types of the soil erode? Second thing, we uh, uh, travel to uh, Balpare. You see that the soil erode is uh, minimizing. Why? And here also in Metapalayam to Kotagari way to Oti, that also soil erode is uh, minimized. Why? Because there are T estates are there. So T T T estate, the estate of the plant for the tree cultivating. So the root system, that is the main system, the root system is controlling for the soil erode. Nothing, anything is, it is root system. So root preventing for the soil erode. Okay, one thing. So we go for naturally by grass or tree, we control for the soil erode. Second thing, soil erosion Basically, when it soil erosion or erode or there in rain or water is coming or uh, rain water, when is rain coming? So it's becoming the more uh, dangerous part of the root system in the penetrate with the soil, the prevent in the soil erosion. So these are the first thing. Where? So these are the where means in our farming land. Our slope land, slope area, our undulated terrain, our border area, where are some slope areas? So where that takes we identified. Then when so to uh, in uh, when when is first rain coming? That time is uh, not the soil erode. Why? Because suppose um, last two three months uh, rain um, not coming so after that first rain is coming that time soil erosion is not possible second time is continuously then it will possible so then once rain water is coming then 
air. It is go for the Rajasthan areas. So that is different thing. We speak maximizing 90% in the rain. So when we identify how to control and what is the remedy, we discuss about that. So how to control? Um, we already discussed about the two things. One is grass, another one is tree. That is using different methodology. That's all. Once is mulching, or we are cultivating frequently grass, or we cultivating tree. But the tree where, but the grass is all the places. Very good example for grass is a vetiver. This is very good root system. That is the root system. And root system is controlling for the soil erosion. Second uh, grass uh, is lemon grass. So these two root system is different from the apart from the other grasses. So in uh, my question is that uh, river band is there. So our canal band is there. So canal band also is possible for the soil erosion and river band is also is possible for the soil erosion. Uh, Mr. Ramakrishna, sorry to interrupt uh, your uh, slides are not changing. You are on the second slide. Yes, madam, I'm in the second slide. So you have to move to other slides? Yes, madam, uh, I will move. Please change it. Yeah. Uh, so, um, uh, sorry. So, uh, thing is about that, um, we using the two type of uh, grass. One is grass, another one is tree. So, in this um, uh, thing, we how to uh, mulching techniques and what are the root systematic techniques is we are possible to the uh, control for the how to control for the things. How to control only we go for natural way, be possible for 75 to 80 percentage is a natural way. Suppose um, the, the uh, where when we go for the tree, the tree is uh, that is for slope area. Slope area we planting for the tree like ficus or fig that is a uh, uh, ficus bengalensis, ficus religiosa or ficus resimosa in Tamil all of the RSA. These are the penetrating root system we will discuss one, one by one. Then what is the remedy we will discuss. So remedy is grass, tree, grass or tree. Okay, We discuss that only two. Yeah. First, soil erosion control grass. Okay. We give the first priority is grass. Why? Because grass is spreading. Uh, uh, grass is, spread, is spreading full areas. That's why we are selecting. But tree is not like that. Tree is only for root penetrate with the soils, uh, slope areas. But uh, here, uh, written that, that uh, grass is not like that. Grass is spreading for the moreover all the areas covered. So that is covering also in top also is covered. Below uh, the soil also is covered for the root system. Top is covering for the greenies. So that is controlled for two methodology, two mechanics, two methodology. One is top also is controlled some erosion and bottom of the root penetration also is controlled the for some uh, uh, so error soil error. Okay. So these 11 grass, it is apart from all over India. We are I am selected there. One is stylohemata. The stylohemata, if suppose you are sowing the seeds in slope uh, where we where um, uh, the soil error is there. You are go for stylo hemata or stylo carpa. Both are the same like that. So similarly, they of the grass. Stylo hemata or stylo carpa. Only one time you are sowing the seeds, then it automatically it uh, within two and of month to three months it is fully covered 
then frequently you no need to the again again and sowing it comes um, flowering fruiting then sorry flowering then it is spreading for the um, seeds so see this dis uh, dispersing for all the places so automatically so only you maintain is that these the two cross is if fodder suppose is cattle is there it is coming to the browsing that also no, no issue because when it is sprouting uh, for browsing for any cattle like um, uh, goat or other uh, uh, any other uh, cattle it become it again again as it is is coming so this one grass is there this is fully for grass peniciatum uh, pedicillatum these also like our sorghum and like vetiver so this also is good and buffalo grass this is very good grass for all over tamil nadu in tamil name is kolkata this buffalo grass it is karnataka region telangana karnataka telangana andhra more became suitable why because this buffalo grass uh, no need about the water because non availability of the water land it will be coming so uh, um, river bit area like that these also only one time we are sowing the seeds no need frequently sowing the seeds it is coming after is it is a self self pruning uh, this grass that what is mean by self pruning once it became attain the one uh, of one feet high it automatically is dry for the top then it root uh, penetrate here in uh, below the soil then automatically is coming so this grass once is sorry once is seed dispersing in the uh, uh, river bed area or canopy canal area or slope area or slope uh, slope full slope area then it automatically consume and other methodology is that, that fourth one buffalo grass it is mulching how it is mulching suppose it is one one of one feet height is coming then it automatically uh, that is uh, non uh, availability or non availability of the water area or non um, irrigation conditions or um, but suppose is a rain not come for uh, three months four months like that so it automatically is drying for full grass then it is mulching then water uh, when rain is coming so it is covering for that area so that also is controlling for the soil erode then wild the wild grass this also first one also it is useful for the forest areas maximum it is controlling for the forest area for the soil erode and um, another one is this is napier these two only useful for the uh, forest areas okay and the penicillium pedicillatum this is good this is napier grass uh, napier is different type of grasses are there but this grass is a we call this a elephant grass so elephant grass it is um, covered with the border area suppose we our technique slope area we are using for the grass trailer hamsa in border area that means the end part suppose is starting part end part these both part we are using for the napier or vetiver last one this is both is good suppose uh, where water is coming from slope area the end part is we um, uh, we focusing on the end of the land why because end of the land engulfing for the that uh, root system penetrating there means is when is water is slope, slope area is coming so it prevent so we use it for the penicillium uh, pedicillatum this is called napier another name is elephant grass and vetiver it is very good uh, uh, soil erosion control in the in india uh, vetiver we cannot possible to seed to dispersing another is the lemon grass also seed dispersing uh, seed we uh, focusing on the seed it is not possible go for the cuttings only is possibility because seed it is not possible when it is coming the seed uh, this is research is going on because vetiver flowering stage um, seed bearing stage it is research because when it seeds coming no don't know somebody said that this is vetiver uh, seed but that is not correct we go for only cutting uh, this research is now vetiver is it became for the 
um, uh, 20 to 30 years is possible for the seeds. Some research. So some research says this is a 10 years. We don't know about when its seed is coming. So we go for this slow, but that is three. Or cuttings, okay? Or root cuttings also is possible. And alpha alpha, this is a very good forage, queen of forage. So we this using means it is um, prevent for soil erosion, but uh, uh, this is very good product. So uh, cattle grossing it totally. Okay, so avoiding this one, it is possible you do that. So soil erosion controlled by grass. So I am uh, already discussed about that. What are the um, Selection. We have a selection is already for uh, this uh, level. This level, level apart from uh, your area, which grass natively some grasses is there. The local name is there. So natively, native, uh, native in that means your native um, area, which one is suitable? This among this level you select and go for that. Okay. Then soil erosion controlled by grass. So here you see that. Uh, you see this, this is the soil erosion. But uh, this is fully covered with the um, grass. So it is automatically controlling for the soil erosion. But uh, here, this area, nothing, anything is planting means is definitely is soil erosion. So we here we plant wetty wear or any napier grass like that. This is a starting. Here is, this, suppose here is water is top to below, top to below area, the below area, this part, this part is top, no issue. Below side is very uh, minutely, we are focusing about these areas, the below areas. Because all the water is only soap area, here is some. So here we focusing that. And if it is possible, the slope area, any, any one or two trees, we are marking point where is soil erosion. Because top to below, top to bottom, it's not possible. Suppose some stone or light that it is not present, it is so soil erosion. So here the below bottom and central bottom, top bottom, we identify the point mark. Why here soil erosion? Then that place we are um, planning for the tree. That's all. So here the top, below portions we go for the uh, napier grass or the the end part. End part is essential. End part is very important. Here we are planting for um, napier grass or uh, napier grass or um, uh, napier grass or pretty bit. Okay, same like here also. The end, end part is essential. Okay, this area is uh, you see, this picture is only no any undulated. Here is undulated terrain. Here you see like this. Then this is vetiver root system. So, vetiver, why we are focusing about the vetiver? You see, top, how much. Uh, the grass is um, in the top below the root system uh, below the root system also is like that that's why we are uh, focusing because the root system our selection is only for the root system top we cannot focus about that top grass is coming or not only is little bit coming that is no issues but bottom side is very very uh, essential here failures of the surface. Why? Because sur where this is slope area. Suppose we uh, prevent that root system when it is soil erode, it is controlled. So vetiver root system is very good root es essential establishment systems. So we are focusing on the vetiver for our border area. Not for full area means it is not good. Only for identical point locations. That means end point or border point. Or that also zigzag method, three line, four line, five line, no issue. But um, uh, I go for fully slope uh, for the vetiver, that is not correct. Because our soil, other um, uh, element, it will not come in. So only for vetiver, border area, the three line or four line, 
or otherwise zigzag methods okay you see suppose it, uh, this is very weird suppose i go for fully slope fully slope area you see like this um like this slope area like i go for fully wetty way that is not good because only go for the end portions when became the end or uh, that um, border that area only is planting like the wetty ways so suppose i am planting full slope areas it is not like that so our soil uh, nutrient is a zero so soil nutrient suppose if more root system is coming our soil nutrition we cannot possible to we cannot possible to our soil nutrient soil improvement then i go for other yelling uh, other fertilization is needed so that is not correct so in portion is essential in portion is here focusing because in for that border area already is a very good fertile soil because top to bottom bottom only come from the all the deposited soil that is alluvial soils or deposited soil or other uh, soil nutrition presented in the border area so we are planting the border area border area in the vetiver roots vetiver means it is good for root system so we are prevent and controlling for the soil erosion but is fully no need suppose i am cultivating the farming land in the farming land um, uh, every uh, 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 rainy season is soil erosion so go for in border area control for the your border area the two advantages is there suppose you um, uh, focusing on the border area the border area you are preventing me uh, soil erosion prevent means your soil uh, what are the uh, type of soil in your land the soil inside nothing go for outside but if in portion that means border area we, can, we are not focusing means our soil nutrient our soil enrichment all other um all other uh, uh, soil um, fertiles it go for outside so no any uses but our our land is nothing is coming only is coming for uh, other uh, uh, unwanted uh, grasses like that so that is not uh, our focusing so we are focusing only border area border area when we are controlling for our soil erosion our soil all the our soil nutrient or other uh, element of the soil inside in our land so we you focus on border area but uh, slope area means top to bottom also we are prevent but uh, um, end portion is that means top portion is essential you see this is also um uh, very very root system suppose here that this is this are the end portion so slope area here we are planting one tree also so tree uh, i said that what are the trees only three trees are there in the uh, focusing so what are the trees we are focusing the name i said to you i said i'll tell you uh, here uh, root system of the these are the things is very very you see this like in uh, root system also the brown is root system the green is uh, top so grass like this both are equal in here we are planting in end portion where slope is end so we using for this end portion it is uh, it is here this this particular areas only we are focusing because these are the th these are the things is essentials so we are focusing from these areas only for the one two three these also see zigzag method zigzag method four or five lines in the slope areas that is good okay that um, we are um, uh, collecting from uh, that uh, uh, wetty ways only from mother plant which plant is um, already planting in the slope area or the other things they are every year or um, three month five month one time they are pruning or they are cutting some grasses when you go for when and uh, needed so you selected in your place nearby area you collect that so soil erosion control by tree so now only two things are there first we are seeing the grass second we are the tree 
so tree only for hill areas is preventing so you see that um, this is a for the hill area so here root penetrate with root penetrate with end of the soil so the soil is three or four layering okay so top layering is covering for the grass second layer is second or third layering is covering for the root system you see that this green is for all the green is like that for the grass but here root is penetrate with three or four 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 uh, type four uh, layer so so that's why i said identical that means where suppose here we planting it is not possible for the this top not possible for soil erosion only the slope area we are planting means one or two tree identify identify the part where uh, soil erosion is uh, made when is rain is coming then soil erosion soil erode that place we go for the tree so once we are planting the tree it uh, the soil uh, the layering four or five layering is there but is three layer is covering for the root means it is around the surrounding area is controlling for the soil erode you see like this this is for them then we focusing of the um, root system like this so which uh, tree is coming for the root system is like that it is um, ficus bengalensis ficus means fig okay uh, in the common name is fig three uh, ficus uh, ficus is around 27 species are there but we are focusing for three or uh, ficus one is ficus um, uh, bengalensis ficus religiosa ficus bengalensis ficus religiosa ficus resinosa these three is became the good root uh, penetrate with the soil so you go for like this so this root system is below the uh, soil means it is preventing for the soil erosion like this okay and uh, this uh, this things only three species and another one another one species is like ficus is a tree but tree is is coming for the grass that is ficus one is ficus species is there that is a ficus humila that is we are using for uh, compound wall like that we are using that ficus humila ficus humila is a tree but it is coming for the climber like the like grass so soil erosion is controlled for ficus humila the ficus humila also very important um, uh, one uh, tree plus uh, grass or climber we the three combination that is that is called ficus humila p u m a l a ficus humila you search for the internet ficus humila that is very good ornamental decoration for the our component wall and uh, suppose it it is coming it is climber species it it is uh, um, uh, attached with wall attached with um, component wall it is became fully for greens that is ornamental purpose also you see suppose the same type as pumila we are using from the where soil erosion is um, where soil erosion is there so we are planting for the ficus pumila that ficus pumila only is coming from the uh, water regions area so we go for the river band uh, river both side or river band areas or canal we go for ficus pumila means it is controlling so it is using for the our um, decoration for our component wall you uh, searching for ficus f i c u s ficus pumila p u m i l a ficus pumila is very good ornamental it is a grass it is a uh, climber it is a tree so these three but it is a tree uh, the species is coming from the uh, categorically is a tree five kingdom classification but it is um, like grass or like climber but is it coming from the categorically it is a tree but it is not come from the tree okay it is categorically it is a tree but it is not come from the uh, grass like the tree but this continuously the uh, climber okay like that money plant example is money plant money plant also is only one layer but it is more layering so it is using for the uh, our um, suppose farm house is there 
So farmhouse um, uh, is in uh, one place. So uh, surrounding the farmhouse area, fully for soil erosion. Then how to control? So you go for ficus pumila like that. So suitable of the species, suitable of the plant or grass according with our areas. So farming area, you go for wetlands like that. Hmm? So root system, the soil erosion is mainly controlling for the root system or grass or uh, by grass or um, grass root system or tree root systems. Okay, to take off the root systems. Then suppose uh, I, I said to the uh, two uh, things. One thing, identical part. Suppose slope, it is a 50 acre slope are there. Where the planting our tree? Fully we are planting for this, are, we are sowing the seeds, it is coming for full areas, so it is controlling. But where we planting the tree? So that is a, we uh, identify the locations. So you see, it is a undulated terrain area. First slope, second slope, third slope, fourth slope, this is end. Below is the end. So below the end portion, uh, below the end here, this, uh, here the top, no issues. The bottom, we are planting vetiver. These four three identical part, where we plant, that slope is end. First slope ending, we are planting. So, so that means first slope ending, we are planting the tree means what are the top two first uh, undulated terrain area that controlling there? So minimizing the water is coming. So we are identically this uh, point, the planting needs that plant the uh, tree also uh, that uh, it is good safe of the tree, it is beneficiary tree. That is second, but very good root system in the soil. That is because root systems only controlling for the soil erosion. So, root system, good root system, a uh, tree we are planning. That is, I said tree. The tree also is not coming that area. You select it according to the other trees, good uh, root system trees. So, here this picture is four plants, four uh, trees needed. Here only two trees needed. Why? This slope area, because he, this, this slope area controlling for this uh, thing. So, likewise, we are. Uh, identical part and controlling for the our soil erosions. Soil erosion is the only two way for the controlling naturally. That naturally thing is that only go for grass. That is different techniques, mulching, um, uh, soil walls, soil water conservation, or uh, selecting the grass system, road system like that. And tree also we are selecting for the tree. That only for peas or ficus or other depending upon the your locality area. So that tree also identical part we identify where it is soil arrow, that place only we are planting for the um, tree and other areas we are covered with the grass. So I discuss about only for self-explanatory, that's why I'm not coming from the theoretical part. Suppose theoretical part. It is not, suppose I am reading uh, and explaining, or uh, um, I am explain, go for explanation, that is nothing any uses. So, soil erosion, how to control the soil erosion measure? Already we are know some techniques. So, my presentation is here. Uh, difficulties, I facing the difficulties is farmer or whoever asking to me, what are the spaces? So, that's why I deflated them. I am suggesting only for grass that because we go a tree is a selector but grass is thin but the grass also is a multi-purpose. Suppose we are using in grass one type of grass that is nothing anything in using any, any uses no any uses. So selecting according with our purpose suppose we have the cattle so we want for the uh, feed uh, feed or forage. So according to for the grass, uh, 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 we using for the our cattle. So it's a multi-purpose and vetiver also is some very good medicinal property. Lemon grass also is very good medicinal property. Uh, and uh, vetiver is high costly from collecting uh, mother. Uh, you want to uh, establishing in vetiver for soil erosion in your farming land. It is very costly area, costly. So, so like the likewise our. Um, other uses also. Suppose you are selecting buffalo grass, it also very good uh, fodder from our cattle. So, according with our selections, 
multiple objective main objective is soil erosion control uh, measures other thing is soil erode control other purpose is uh, using for the our profitable or our revenue purpose also you are selecting okay so this is end if you have any questions madam will continue thank you madam Thank you, Mr. Ramakrishnan, for the detailed presentation. Now I'll take up some questions. Yes, madam. Uh, first question is, what yeah. are the primary causes of soil erosion? What are the primary? Causes, causes of soil erosion. Uh, very good question, sir. So, um, primary causes... Um, It is not uh, explained one or three words, two, one or two words, but I explaining to your question in straight away answer. Um, soil erosion control, soil erosion, ero soil erosion is a different way. Um, suppose, um, uh, main thing not in all land in not all equal positions. So some slope area, something our farming land also. Um, soil system is very unique. Research is still now is going on. Why? Because our soil, lot of uh, particles are there. So not only single particle, it is lot of soil particles, soil nutrients are there. Soil. So soil have um, uh, metabolic. Um, lot of metabolic activities is there. So, in our farming land also, um, in our um, old methodology, uh, suppose this is one acre land, they are um, uh, separating the border. Why? Because control of the soil erosion. Nothing, anything uh, there. But soil, uh, you have four acre land. But it is not equally because due to the land system, it is not equal for the our all the parts. First thing, some uh, areas are slope, some little little slope, some area, undulated terrain that is part. So this is suppose uh, uh, equal for the our all the part that is uh, no uh, sense here. So. We are separate from our farming land also. Three or four part is suppose I have the four acre land. All the part, all the uh, four acre land in same locality, in same place is not like that. So we are, um, but uh, already did, they are did for separations. So uh, the plain area, they are uh, one uh, part. So, the, the, they are already separating, so slope area, they, that is one thing, right side, right side. So, four acres, they are, they are separating for four or five acres. But here, one for straight away answer is land is not equal part in all the areas. That's why it's uh, coming for the soil erode. Soil erode, when it occurs, it is prevent, is measurement is there. Naturally, preventing is this there. Suppose, Soil erosion, um, uh, our old methodology is a fencing. Now we are using for um, uh, chain link fencing. How it is possible? So, fencing, what is the using for why we are focusing about the uh, life fencing? It is called soil erosion. Suppose you see the village area, they um, end of the uh, part. They are, uh, suppose on the end of the part is closing from her land or his land, there one other uh, road is there. So they are uh, focusing about that for life fencing. They are already planning for very good life fencing. So once is soil erosion means is that, that in your land, inside the your land, it is not go for the outside. That road part, it is not go for your soil elements or soil nutrition or enrichment media. 
five is the one type of medium. But now, uh, most of the land, what we did, we go for chain link fencing or other fencing because uh, no labor facilities are there. Maintenance is, easy. maintenance is very difficult. So we are focusing about that when we go for mechanically, here soil erosion is coming. That's how, this is one part. Because uh, gold methodology is a gold method. Why? Because they are selecting for the suitable tree for fencing in the border area. So root system is penetrated with for the, the soil erosion areas. So soil erosion major portion is occurred in only for the border area. It is coming because water is when it is starting to come in the slope, that is not issue because the stock is coming for slope. I think me central level is stopping, but here border area is starting to go for the road. Why? Because our um, fencing system is like that mechanically. Now we are coming only focusing for the mechanical. That is the thing, major thing. We go for only live fencing. Automatically, we are controlling our border area for control of the soil erosion. So, we prevent, we go for old method, no any other way. Why? Because they are already uh, very good fencing established in um, 300, 400, 500 years ago. Then we are continuing, we are reducing that our um, uh, daily activity, farming activity. Then we are focusing about the life fencing, chain link fencing, barbed wire fencing, all the fencing is mechanically. So due to, uh, that is not wrong, but due to our labor facilities is low, their maintenance is low, we are not full activity from the like that. So we go, maintenance is very difficult, so like that. But uh, when we go for that uh, stone, stone, how, what can, um, how can the soil erosion is controlled? Stone is, it is not a um, root system. We are planting only stone, how it is possible. So we planting tree, it is possible for the root system is there. So controlling for the our border area, root, uh, border area, rooting from, suppose I have a one acre land, entire border, uh, I planting for the life fencing. Then it is becoming the full root system is penetrated with soil. So soil erosion is not happening. If it suppose is causing the equality is land is not equal position in all the land. So it is occurred this possibility. When it is occurred, the preventing is life fancy. So border area we are focusing in our farming area. Yes, madam. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, can you explain the role of cover crops in soil erosion control? Yes. Uh, madam, uh, repeat, madam. Can you explain the role of cover crops in soil erosion control? Yes. Cover, C O V E R. Okay, yes, I am uh, I am explaining thing that is called root system. What is the role? See, here, the role is a root system. Because how it is controlled for, suppose I am planting the grass. How it is possible for all the grass is not possible for the soil erosion, soil error, it is not possible because um, uh, when is occurred the soil erosion, that time I am planting for the uh, grass is possible, no. So we are think about that, here main role is root system, that's all, nothing, anything else root system because root penetrate with the, our soil so when it is possible for soil erosion they prevent for the root system this is straight away answer but i i uh, give some example suppose without any um, that area is very plain area so slope the top it is rain is coming in the land is not equal position so when the land is slope area when is that the uh, terrain that's the undulated terrain area when in the below area the water is coming top to uh, top uh, to below 
that is the that is called natural we cannot modify if it is modified we that some other activity we are did it is modified but here suppose we are not plant any plant canal is possible so um, top to bottom canal so uh, that is that is called soil um, uh, um, dividing in the our uh, slope area so what is the advantages suppose we are planting uh, the grass so that is prevent so it is not possible for that also selected grass so root is penetrate with the soil means that root system is not the all the grass root system that's why i said that very well you see that uh, root system top how much grass we have seen the how that same thing in the bottom for the root so the root sorry the root um, maximizing a uh, minimizing for the soil error that's why that's why we are selecting the root system is main important that's why we are selecting for the grass so the grass are three root system is penetrate that uh, prevent for the soil error yes madam okay and what is the significance of wind breaks in mitigating soil erosion erosion yeah that is good good good, good. yes it is also happen in some places um wind uh, uh, wind break uh, wind break in is different category different types because um uh, some our farming areas you go for um casuarina uh, uh, eucalyptifolia plant name the tree name that is uh, that is possible for the um so, um wind uh, when is air is coming or wind is coming that is controlled for fire that is name is you go for the two three species i am suggesting uh, casuarina eucalyptifolia another thing casuarina jungliana casuarina uh, you um, typing in the internet two uh, names are there two planting we are using in india that is are exotic species but here is 19 50 onwards 1950 onwards we are using these two for wind pollens that is also is a very good um, pulp wood industry making paper wood industry also it is very fast growing tree uh, within 3 years it is became a uh, full shape of the tree so these two trees you are using it is most of the wind we are preventing for the soil erosion in india we are using these two uh, Uh, I think ninety uh, percentage is possible for controlling for the uh, wind, uh, uh, wind and wind uh, soil erosion. These two things uh, mainly uh, it is coming all the places, uh, not all the areas. Um, not only like that um, in Tamil Nadu, like that it is coming. It is a native place in Australia, but it native country is Australia. But here we are nineteen fifty. Uh, we are planning. It is very good species, very good tree. uh this poles we are using for the supporting tree materials or uh, all other uses also is we this is multi purpose uses uh, mainly is using for paper industry to uh, now it is rate 200 2300 per ton uh, so after 3 years tree tree is coming to the one ton so it is uh, and if you are cutting then again it is coming so this is the unit tree so you go for the two tree if you have any doubt you contact me we uh, i will tell you i will give you some notes also yes madam okay <clears throat> and uh, how does mulching contribute to soil ero soil conversion efforts yeah very good question so are not conversion conservation efforts yes 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 uh, sir uh, when i presenting uh, the uh, first graph Uh, i said what is the soil moisture conservations the soil moisture conservations is a mulching is a very good techniques uh, the mulching uh, we are using our farming uh, activity also now we are go for drip irrigation method this is one type of mulching because uh, when we uh, focusing about the full area water it is covering but now the replication system only for root area only providing the water other areas it's not like that the same method, same technology same methodology suppose uh, i give one example for this questions buffalo grass the buffalo grass it is a self pruning 
sub, so what is self pruning i am explaining that uh, suppose you go for a buffalo grass it became uh, attained for uh, one feet height then uh, automatically if suppose you need for mulching if grass is reach grass is reached for one feet height then you are cutting and put for the same place then it automatically it is called mulching no need for we go for the technology for mulching that is different techniques are there but um thing is, is about that is a uh, termite attack are there mulching is one disadvantage is that termite so when is mulching is coming is termite attack is there so termite suppose once is attack for the termite means is our total thing is are quiet so uh, that is carefully we are do or we are uh, doing that uh, mulching techniques Uh, suppose mulching techniques possible for hill area that is a continuous uh, continuously rain suppose today is rain coming after 10 days after 20 days or other um, uh, that climatic conditions is like oopy so we go for our um, in um, maharashtra that um, uh, ratnagiri uh, like that. in uh, here uh, we go for karnataka kodagu like that. here we go for valpari top like like we go for kerala kerala is suitable for mulching yes so mulching disadvantage is one is disadvantage is termite attack termite is one to attack our root system is will be spoiled so carefully do in the uh, the things all the place is mulching is not possible thing is that termite is attack is possible so once termite attack means is totally foil for the our root system of the main crop then when we go for mulching only same grass you are using don't go for any other grass is collecting from grass some other place is not good what are the grass we are planting in our land for the erosion control for the soil erosion soil erosion so the same crop using for the mulching mulching is not no nothing anything else suppose you are cutting and put the grass for same place so um, suppose if our planting system is different suppose uh, gap is there suppose uh, 0.5 meter gap definitely is there so the gap you putting for the uh, uh, grass that is mulching no we are not go for technology technique Kelly or that type of mulching detail. No need. We are go for like that. Suppose it is um, uh, like that Kerala climate and Uti climate. You go for mulching. Other um, type of climatic you are avoiding for mulching. Why? Because it's a termite attack. Once it's termite attack, prevention is very um, uh, risk. So we cannot go for that. Suppose. Your climatic condition is Rathnagiri climatic condition, Uti climatic condition, or Kodagu Hills climatic conditions. You go for mulching, no issues. Yes, madam. Okay. And next question is, yeah, uh, what are some common erosion control methods used in construction sites? Yes, madam. Repeat, madam. What are some common erosion control methods used in construction sites? Yes, uh, this is also very good, good question because soil erosion is controlled for all the type of soil because it's construction soil uh, construction. Um, you go for pumila, so that only is coming for that because all the grass is not coming that uh, uh, thing. Uh, so uh, you go for I guess pumila. So Kumila is coming all type of soil. So that selected species and the coast area also suppose that the river band, the construction using soil. You are saying that the river sand. I think is the sand. I think I might uh, you were question. I am understanding that sand. That is called sand. Na? Uh, so soil is different. Sand is different. Red dirt is different. This is soil differentiation. But we are using construction soil now. Using for the M stand, but it is soil. This saw so that type of soil is a humidity is maintained. That is a neutral medium. That is called a neutral medium. 
நார்மல் அவர் சாயில் இஸ் மீடியம் நார்மல் மீடியம் கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்ஷன் பர்பஸ் யூசிங் சாயில் இஸ் ஏட் இஸ் ஏ நியூட்ரியல் மீடியம் தட் இஸ் கால் நியூட்ரியல் மீடியம் ஸோ that nutrient medium soil only coming from that um, that ficus pumila so why because that um, uh, nutrient medium soil uh, maintain for the humidity that means moisture soil moisture conservation which is very good for the nutrient medium why because some hold the sand that some uh, particles is holds so we cannot um, cultivating all the Uh, type of grass what are they discuss about that that is not possible so you selected for the grass uh, like um, wetty wet you try uh, lemon grass you try uh, lemon grass wetty wet pumila these three is coming but root system is not like that that is uh, in, that is not possibility root system is coming but minimizing but uh, ficus pumila is good uh, another thing uh, mangrove if you are in the um, uh, uh, that is means see uh, that means coastal area you go for um, prevent for the mangrove cultivations uh, like that yes sir okay so i'll take two more questions because it's already 6 o'clock yeah, yes, so uh, yeah uh, what practices can farmers adopt to minimize water erosion on their fields Uh, again, madam. What practices can farmers adopt to minimize water erosion on their fields? Yeah, a uh, very good question. You see, farm farmers, uh, farming land also, farmer also. Um, uh, these are the issues is commonly facing. Uh, but um, uh, here uh, I am already discuss about the one thing. You go for live fencing. Suppose you are making the fencing. you go for light fencing and focusing about the border area suppose uh, you were land soil it go to other land uh, that is also is not good other um, land soil is come to your your area that is also is not good why because uh, near because i am one of the farmer near by my farmer is there my land system is not equal to my uh, land uh, my area of the farming land is top my neighbor area is below side so automatically when this rain is coming or any other is happen our uh, totally our soil uh, is nutrient is come to the our neighbor our neighbor land is good because that is also deposited soil that is not correct in here both land also is fine why because natural soil is coming for the good our natural soil is go for the um, uh, my neighbor neighbor soil also is not there but it, this is the my soil that is a deposited soil so both land is affected so you focusing about the border that border border is very important that's why we are another thing but first the border another thing separate for the land uh, suppose one acre one acre is full length no need like that suppose if soil erosion you are observing like that this part is soil erosion this part is water lacking area when is rain is coming this only this portion is the water is uh, coming and water is um, uh, lacking the so water lacking so this area we are prevent like that. then you cover you focusing on that part and where the soil erosion suppose is one acre land one acre land also is all the areas is not possible for the soil erosion so you identify the part in one acre land or one acre land where the soil erode you identify the uh, portion where when a port sorry where that local location you are selection means your um, um, your um, uh, all the problem is a remedy why because that is a good thing first we are observing the soil erosion part where that part we focusing that's all so that part you planting tree or a tree grass is not possible planting tree or separate so you uh, putting for the uh, one small wall like that then you putting for a stone like that then it is clear so these are the things is uh, 
keeping in doing that. Yes. Yes, madam. Next. Okay. Now I will take the last question. Uh, uh, yeah. Are there any innovative technologies for soil erosion control that you find promising? Yes, sir. Lot of innovation technologies are there. So, uh, um, uh, innovation technique, two things. First, um, it is, um, uh, uh, I give the theoretical part for innovation technique, but it is not doing that in your area because um, technique is only adapting for our uh, locality. That is, you are creating on um, technique means that is adapted. But uh, in Tamil Nadu, one technique is there, but that technique is adapted adapted to uh, Kodagu or Moti or um, Kodakana, not possible. But in according to my uh, point, according to my presentation, according to my knowledge, I said that um, soil erosion is major issues. This, we have said that not only one word it is an issue. It is a major issue. It's a difficult um, for handling. Lot of risk activities also is there. We cannot understand full things about the farmers. Suppose once is the soil erosion is there, our automatically our top soil is go to the other other land. Nothing, anything is coming from our soil because soil system is like that. Soil system is very good system. We cannot possible for only one line S O I L. It is not possible because soil is a different um, uh, combination and different layering and different crops. It is not equal. It is not um, uh, said that is a uh, only one component. Not like that. It is top is a main thing. Why? Because our human body top is very our head is important. Because without head we cannot uh, survive. But our head, our leg, it is impossible. But without head is not possible. Same like that. The soil very important is top. Top layering is very important because we are growing all the cultivation of our vegetable crops, all the horticulture crops, all the daily activity of the, our farming land only top layer, not for the second layer, third layering. Only three go for the fifth layering, but all other things is only for up to the three layering. So if any is occurring for the soil erosion, it, two layering is go for other lands. Nothing, anything is possible. It is not became for the after 10 years, after 20 years, became for 100 years, again it is coming for our soil. So that is difficult. But innovation, here nothing, anything is say the innovation, sir. Because what are the things we are, we are focusing in our land locality, so we are identification where the soil erosion is uh, coming, that is identifying means that is also innovative because that is not easily not possible. Another thing, uh, we uh, in farming land, suppose it is coming, we prevent for separations that like that. Suppose I have the one hectare land, soil erosion is coming for not all the places. Where the soil erosion is coming, we are sm making small wall or small like that, then we are avoiding for the soil erosion. So more innovative technique is not, is a lot of, uh, you will go for the internet, lot of techniques are there, but is all the technique is not adaptable work. Separation is possible and making light fencing is possible. Suppose if we are coming from the light fencing, you are avoiding for the chain link fencing, barbed light fencing like that, you go for um, uh, suitable light fencing, biofencing, that is for innovative, biofencing, life fencing, both are innovative, that also old method, now we are said innovative. And three, uh, if, one, if you have the one acre land, where it is soil erosion is occurred, you are identifying, put that uh, that place in the tree, one or two tree. That is, that is, uh, thing is uh, innovative. Yes, madam. Okay. Okay, Mr. Ramakrishnan, I don't see any more questions from our participants. So now we have come to end of question round. On uh, behalf of agriculturinformation.com, we'd like to thank you for a detailed presentation and answering all the questions in depth as always. And we also like to thank all the participants for joining this meeting. The meeting will now be closed and wish you all a very happy Republic Day. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, madam. Thank you.